76ers minus 13 and a half. How about this one for a trend this season? The Sixers went at home versus a team under 500. 10 and 2 against the spread, straight up and against the spread, 83% this season. Uh, find yourself someone in life who loves you the way that Joel Embiid loves beating the sh- out of sh- teams. Because, like, <laughs> It is just great to see someone take their passion and put it into their work. (laughs) And like, no, you know, he he will, he'll come out and he'll, he'll try and play in the playoffs. But like, this is like, this is where Joel Embiid is like, this is his canvas for him to paint is playing teams that are absolutely wretched. Uh, They're going to be, how many, how many did he score against the Nuggets? I can't remember. (laughs) <laughs> i don't recall how many did how many did he actually how many did he have 40 what it started with it was, a four i remember that it was significant like i know <laughs> is it january already <laughs> wow <laughs> joel's amazing He's i can't win. i can't wait for that 20, january 27th matchup i if he doesn't play what? i'm be so angry what, what makes what makes you think he's gonna play jim i know i know i know i think he will i think he will we'll see no, let's be real. You don't think he will. You hope he will. Let's I, be real. Yeah, no, that is a very, that's a much yeah. better word choice. I hope he now will. Now look, he might come in there and beat them. I actually think that matchup is really good for Philly. Like yeah. if we get a Nuggets Sixers finals, I'm going to be honest with you right now. That may be the one team that I would pick against, that would bet against the Nuggets is the Sixers. That may be the one team I think can beat them in the finals. Um, they match up really well with them. Regardless, look. I can't, I can't really criticize Embiid here. Um, I can joke about it, but I'm very serious with this. If you want to build a great regular season record, the th- I talk about this constantly. The three types of win- games that you need to win: games versus division teams, games at home, and games versus teams under 500. This is two of those categories. This is how you make you get home court. Like <clears throat> I've seen a lot. The Wizards in the mid 2010s were the, were the the archetype of the other way, where everyone would be like. The Wizards got another great win versus the Heat, but then they would lose to some shitty team, and then they wind up with a seven seed, and they would never go anywhere. The Sixers are taking care of business, and they are taking care of business dominantly. Their average margin of victory in these games is 14.9. They win these games by 14.9 points. They are ATS. They are plus five in ATS margin versus teams under 500. I'm laying the wood. I think the Sixers are going to win this game like 120-100. So I'm going to take uh, the Sixers here minus 13 and a half. Um, and hey, if you want to lay the 15 and a half, I think you're good. I, I think you can lay, you can escalate. I, I might do an escalator on this one because uh, I really do think they're going to dominate him. You guys got any thoughts think- on that? Yeah, I think actually one of the markets that I've kind of been experimenting with is there's a market out there that's for a team to score 100 plus in the first three quarters. And you can get like decent odds on some of these some of these teams, especially in I think what can be blowout potential games. Um, Part of why I like the market is I think that you can kind of get ahead of the blowout because teams like they will try to put the other team away going into the fourth quarter so that like, you know, and they're and you generally are going to see their regular rotations going through the first three quarters of the game uh, games don't usually get super out of hand uh, that early where it's like at halftime, like a 50 or 60 point game. So I think the first three quarters is interesting and to score a hundred points. Like you don't even necessarily have to be blowing the other team out. It could just be a high scoring game. But I think if you want to bet on offense, I think it's almost like a safer way to bet on a team's like alternate overs uh, as opposed to like the fourth quarter, like a full game alternate team total over because then, you start running into like where you get deep into the bench if it really is a blowout so it's definitely something that i might keep an eye out for um in this game i do think your cap is right though matt yeah and i'm i it's funny i i was thinking the exact same thing slightly to next next to i was gonna ask i i haven't looked in this joe you'd know it's better than i do (laughs) Do, is do they have props specifically for like Embiid points through three quarters because that that smells to me of a thing that they would think is an extreme that's due for regression but i actually think is is pretty there's there's a lot of stability in what he is doing in those first three quarters against these terrible teams is that market that is out there joe 
I, w- I wish it was. I don't. I haven't seen it. I've seen you know some. F- I, normally, you see first quarter stuff. Yeah. Um, exactly. There is some. There's some first half stuff. Uh, and I've seen like live things where you can bet into a market where it's like so and so will score x amount of points in the, like the fourth quarter. Um, but it's live, so it's like it's very it's very malleable. It's fluid. It's hard to it's hard to cap in advance, and it kind of a lot of it depends on what the score is like when you're watching it, you know. And it's like what's happening, what's this rotation look like? Uh, but you know, I think that the three quarter bet is interesting just because you can kind of get ahead of like a blowout essentially if you're like calculating it that way or if you think it's going to be a pretty high paced and high and fast paced game and like the spurs play super fast so i do think it's a great opportunity for philly to kind of get out to kind of kind of get out to a pretty hot start here through three quarters 